Mother's Day, of course, this weekend, and a popular gift for mom is a bright bouquet of flowers. New State's Laura Hutchinson is helping you stretch your dollar tonight with the best way to make those flowers last the longest. I hear it all the time. People say they think flowers are a waste because they die. Well, if you're one of those people who likes flowers and you want them, here are a few ways to make them last longer. Nothing can brighten mom's day in the literal sense like colorful flowers. Some people will stay away from them because, well, eventually they will die, while others will splurge this Mother's Day. If you're one of them, Jennifer Ford Chatfield, owner of Fleur de Lis in New Haven, says there are ways to keep them alive longer. Changing the water daily is key. That prevents bacteria to build up into the water, which plugs the pores on the stems, um, and it really helps in elongating the flower life. Where you keep them is important, too. Avoid direct sunlight and heat sources. Keep them centrally located. Diffused light is okay. If they come in a bouquet, not in water, make sure you cut the stems properly. Typically, we say roughly about a half inch, and on an angle is really important, and then to immediately, as soon as you cut them, put them into water. As far as the type of flower goes, she says you'll pay roughly the same amount, whatever you get, but certain flowers do last a little bit longer by nature. Orchids and lilies, uh, roses, believe it or not, hold up quite well. Um, some of the more fragile, delicate flowers like peonies, hydrangea, just have a shorter lifespan due to the fact that they're just a fragile flower. If you really want the flowers to last, consider a potted plant for a mom that she can add to her garden. Buying fresh is also suggested. Many flower shops have expanded hours into Sunday this weekend to help you do that. You do want to call ahead to make sure yours is doing the same. Helping you stretch your dollar, I'm Laura Hutchinson, News 8.